Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. In this episode, we are making Turkish style zucchini and carrot fritters mücver. It's like a quick meal or side dish we enjoy during spring and summer times. It has fresh herbs and Turkish white cheese, which makes it even more flavorful. So let's get started. I have three zucchinis, 500 grams, one medium sized carrot, handful of mint and dill, one medium size or small size onion, two tablespoons about 45 grams all purpose flour. I'm gonna add some corn flour in it, half teaspoon salt, fourth of a teaspoon baking soda, 70 grams white cheese, two eggs. First, I'm going to process my onion with some salt and take out the bitter juice. You can also finely chop the onion and then rub it with salt. As you can see, I can easily squeeze out because of the salt. Now I'm gonna set it aside. I'm going to grate my zucchinis with the bigger side of the grater. And here I don't want to use the very inner part of the zucchini because it's very soft and juicy. So we don't want that. That's why from time to time change the sides and grate until you reach to the soft part. I continue to grate the other zucchinis and the carrot. And now we have to get rid of the excess juice coming from the zucchini especially. And for that I'm gonna squeeze out as much as I can. And here I want to give you another hint. You can also add some salt to zucchinis, rub them with it gently and wait and uh, this way you will be able to get more juice out from it and you can also pat dry with a, a paper towel and you will end up with a more a drier veggies and also more crispier mücver. I'm gonna uh, finely chop my greens herbs fresh mint and dill. You can also add scallions if you like. It would be even more uh, fresh. You can add it instead of uh, regular onion too. Adding some crumbled white cheese. Uh, you can use uh, cottage cheese maybe instead of it or uh, feta cheese. It is optional if you don't want to use, you can omit it too. Adding two eggs, flour, salt, baking soda and one heaped tablespoon corn flour. Let's mix a little bit with a wooden spoon before adding the spices. I added some red pepper flakes and black pepper. That's it. So now I'm going to give it a good mix and it will get more uh, juicy after a time. And I will check it and add more corn flour to it if I need. I wanted to see if it holds. It's, it still was a little bit juicy, so I added one tablespoon heaped more corn flour and it can change depends on the size of your zucchini or how well did you drain. So please do check the consistency and you might need to add more. After cooking one, on, one or two, 
uh, you can also taste it and add more corn flour so my pan is heated with vegetable oil and simply you just shape it into patties with the help of a two spoon make sure the oil is well heated and first I cooked four but in the second batch I was able to cook five at each time don't turn it over too much uh, just check for the uh, sides for golden color and then uh, after it has a nice uh, crust uh, you can turn it over and cook the other side by the way my heat is on medium high don't cook it on uh, lower heat otherwise it can uh, soak too much oil and drain well and put it uh, on to a, a paper towel so you can drain the excess uh, oil as well traditionally uh, it is recommended to deep fry the zucchinis the mujver but uh, I wanted to try it with less oil uh, to see how it's gonna turn out and also to show you because from time to time uh, I usually do that and here is the second batch I also added another uh, paper towel for the excess oil and it was actually okay I still had some oil on my pan and I do recommend to cook it with less oil also you can always uh, drizzle more oil if needed and continue to cook to serve I uh, placed smaller bowl into a bigger one and put my zucchinis on side and fill the bowl with full fat yogurt it is not uh, suitable to dip but uh, you can get spoon full of yogurt to your plate and then eat both it is great for a quick lunch you can use it in your sandwiches uh, make my gobit bread that I shared in the previous episode and fill it with these delicious mujver to make a quick lunch or a picnic or you can also use it as a side dish in dinner so thanks for watching i hope to see you in another delicious turkish food recipes and travel vlogs afiyet olsun